Transformer. It is a transforming figure, but it's not a transformer. You've probably seen this figure before that's been reviewed. It's actually been reviewed by TJ Omega. So TJ Omega, he actually influenced me into getting this figure, or at least one figure from the line, which is Web Diver. And he, I hate you. He got me hooked onto another line. But you're cool, man. And it's actually a pretty cool figure. This is actually Web Diver Sharkon. And, as I say, he is from the animated show, Web Diver, the short-lived show back in the early 2000s. So, okay, looking at, well, first of all, let me just get this out of the way. Okay, he is not a, com he's not, he is actually not complete. I actually found him at my comic slash import shop for 10 bucks. Came in box, said, oh, cool, 10 bucks, I'm gonna get him. So I bought him. And when I realized, it must have been bought and, like, displayed at some point and then put back in its box with all the kind of, all the things that came with it. And they, I guess they gave it to the import shop. And it is perfect. There's nothing wrong with it. There are no scratches. There are no dinks. No danks. No, nothing, nothing wrong with it. Except that he is missing... The shield, the thing that becomes the shield in robot mode, that's kind of his rolling thing that makes him roll. I have realized it without noticing, you know, after I had him for like a couple of hours, I realized, wait a minute, he's missing his shield thingy. Um, I obviously can't turn it back because with these comic slash import shops or whatever, there's, uh, all sales are final and whatnot. Um, it's not a problem with me. Um, I don't have a problem. I really don't see, it's not a big deal, unless I do get, um, Gladion, I think that's his name, you know, the big dude, you know, video game dude, and you have to get that to, you know, hook him on, so he can play video games with him, but, uh, I don't know, but, besides the case, whatever, we're going on to the figure itself, alright, we're doing it now, okay, so, got that tension out of the way, okay, so we have Shark Khan here, and he's, uh, I want to say he is a hovercraft boat. You know, just a he, he looks like a hovercraft, but he's a boat. Not too sure. Like, I've seen it, but I don't really know the, the official name of it. So, yeah, here we go. If you see the color scheme, he's got this nice, sparkly blue and nice green. Got the red, the silver, and some black. And that's pretty much it. He actually looks pretty cool in vehicle mode. Really liking it. Really liking it a lot. You got, of course, you got the weapons here. With giant turbines! Whoa! Okay, so. You know, they move. If you want to do like that, like. Missiles of death. But anyways, he actually looks, as I said. Cool vehicle mode. Cool alt mode. Really digging it. Okay, so let's just go ahead and transform them. Okay, let me just get the weapons out of the way. Just pull these out through the back. Lock so. Alright, just kind of get these out of the way. Alright, we're going to start with the legs. As you can see. I'm going to pull these legs down. Got some more of that nice green coloration. going to fold these up and whatnot. And, you know, just maneuver these. This becomes a giant heel. Healage. Okay, so legs are pretty much transformed. Okay, next let's work on the torso. Well, the arms part. Just gotta separate the arms. Oh, that's nine. There we go. And just bring this whole thing down. You see his shark head, which hence the name Shargon. And bring these around like so. Flip this thing so he has a shark fin. And I'll rotate these back like so, open this tabby, if I could get it to open, there we go, flip out his little claws, flip, 
There we go. All right, close it. All right, and last but well, it's last. Ooh, just gotta slip the weapons in between the claws, like so, and fit. Fit. There we go. There we go. And here we have Sharkon in his robot mode now. One thing, I, he's a he he's a pretty heavy figure. The reason why is because he's got all these electronics and doohickeys right here. Once he's got this little button here. Whoa, seizure! Actually, when you shoot, when you hit that, if you look at it, it's got his shark emblem. It's got a little circle with a shark in it. I'm not sure. I've never watched the show, so... What I think, that's what I think it is. But anyways, but overall, he looks really nice in robot mode. Okay, articulation. Uh, he's got waist articulation. You see, he that. Um, his mouth can open and close. Really cool. His arms can, you know, it can rotate. You know, do transformation and whatnot. You know. Um, arms can go in and out. Bend at the elbow. Twist. The claws on the ball joints. You get any free range of motion. Uh, obviously no head articulation. <laughs> Legs go forward and back. Bend at the elbow. I was going to say elbow. Knee. Twist. In and out. The foot um, pivots, like so. So, you know, pretty average. Decent. Articulation. And once again, color scheme, pretty cool. Pretty cool indeed. Okay, so, yeah, if you had the shield, it would connect right there. Right there. So, here he is in his glory. I gotta say... For a line that, that pretty much is tanked, it actually is a pretty cool figure. I do have to say that. And it has me interested in buying more of these web diver figures. Damn you, TJ Omega! But anyways, yeah, I suggest if you are into weird Japanese transforming figures and like to try out some new things besides Transformers, I say give web divers a try. Actually, Sharkon actually here is a pretty cool figure. I do recommend him for all those crazy people who like to just grab random plastic crack. That's me. I like the plastic crack. I can't get enough of it. So this is Wet Diver Sharkon. And I am Jess Santi. And I will talk to you guys later. I don't know. Yes, there's supposed to be a, a battle mode. But since I don't have the shield thing, I'm not going to do it. So until next time, see you later. <laughs>